This particular tire, unlike a conventional spring tire made of spring steel, um, is different because the material that it's made from is an alloy based on stoichiometric nickel titanium. And that particular, this particular material doesn't deform like conventional materials where in those materials when we put stress on them, we basically are stretching the bonds between the atomic structures. This material has a unique characteristic that allows it to do an atomic rearrangement to accommodate deformation. And that lets us do about 30 times the deformation we could do in a conventional material without having permanent deformation happen. We could actually deform this all the way down to the axle and have it return to shape, which we could never even contemplate in a conventional metal system.